Praise the Lord. I'm going to be real quick. Probably one of the shortest videos I ever do. But um, it was made clear to me in the spirit um, about an hour ago how that um, social media and just media outlets, um, news stations are really taking the race card and using it to bring division between black and white. And it's, it's something that's grieving my spirit, man. It's grieving my heart because to see all of the discord and the anger uh, between the two, it, it, it saddens me and it breaks God's heart as well, especially for uh, we who are believers. It is our responsibility to always walk in love, to walk in compassion. And so I want to say this, whenever you share something that makes you angry, that means that you are sharing and spreading anger. You're not just informing somebody of something. You are spreading anger and you're causing other people to have the same feelings and emotions that you experience when you learned of it. So instead of sharing negative things that make you angry, how about just keep it to yourself, pray about it, and, and, and try and find some way that you can help the situation, okay? Especially as believers. That's our job as believers, not to spread the latest gossip or, you know, like I said, whatever it is that infuriates you, but to share the love of God and how he can change a life. That's what we as believers are supposed to be doing. Glory to God. Now, like I said, this race card is big this in this day and time, and it's just being blown out of proportion. It's out of hand. It's nonsense. People are, are making it bigger than what it really is. Okay? We've got to focus, hallelujah, on kingdom-minded things that's going to build the kingdom of God and not tear down others and not allow the enemy because it's the enemy who's working behind the scene. He's using people who are blind to the fact of this to cause hatred to be infused in the minds and the hearts of people and they're unaware of it. The scripture is in Ephesians chapter 6. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places, principalities, the rulers of the darkness of this world. That's who we wrestle against. We don't wrestle against flesh. We don't wrestle against our brother and our sister. We don't wrestle against humans. They're not our enemy. It's the devil. Glory to God. It's the devil that we are warring against. It's a spiritual war. And we've got to fight in the spirit. We've got to fight with the word of God. Hallelujah. And as I preached not too long ago, we've got to be slow to anger, slow to speak, and quick to listen. Let us not always react upon our emotions and upon the flesh because it produces that which is not the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. So I pray that you just take this word. Um, don't take it as, well, my God, I guess it is sort of a rebuke in a manner, but just take it as admonition to help the body of Christ, glory to God, to help the body of Christ so that people may be drawn to Jesus and not see the believer acting with anger because that's not a drawing card. God is love. And yes, God is a God of correction. Hallelujah. So let us carry ourselves out, glory to God, in a form and fashion that's pleasing unto God's sight.